Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In our previous video, we came to know how we can define our tables. Now in this video, we are going to understand the relationships, cardinality and cross-filtered directions among all those tables. Let me click on this model section. I'm sure you can remember this star schema diagram. Here you can observe I have this one and star. That means one to many relationships. Let me open this property. I have opened this relationships property section. First, this is my cells table. This is our CT table. And I am joining with this CT ID and CT ID. So by default, this will be selected. Here we have many to one, one to one, one to many and many to many. Many first is the many to one because cells table has the many informations about this CT ID and CT table has only sing one single information about this CT ID. Okay, it has some single rows and it has many rows. That's a many to one. Uh, one to many is also a vice versa version because for example, if my CT table in the top section and here I have the sales table, then I can select this one to many relationship. Let me show you one example for this one to one relationship. If I close this one, if you see here I have one and one. That means it has one-to-one -one relationships. I have opened this edit relationships area. Here I have this state ID and this state ID. I have one-to-one -one relationships here. But uh, there we here we have this many-to-many -many relationship. So I don't have that example on that many-to-many. -many, you can uh, obviously you can understand that the relationship between these two table will be many-to-many. -many. That means for example, table A and table B, we are joining with one key element, okay? And both that key element has multiple row in the table A and multiple row in the table B. So that will be many to many relationships. Here we have another property, cross filtered direction. It has two values, single and both. It, by default, it will have a single for this many to one relationship or one to many relationship. Why? From the CT table, for one record, I have many record in this cells table. So this is a single filter directions. If I have selected this both, that means it has both bi-directional relationship. Let me show you uh, where I can select this both directional. If I open this, here I'm selecting this both because for a particular city, the corresponding state will be fixed. For example, if you have some requirement where you need to define two slicer view, okay, from state selection box, I, I can get the corresponding city name from the city selection box. Okay, now if I'm going to select West Bengal and I'm getting the city name, all the city name, definitely that is not the right requirement. I should display the corresponding city name for that state name. That's why here we are defining this both filter directions. It's both the way it will filter the record between these two tables. So this is called bi-directional relationships. If you want to know more about these relationships, you can refer Microsoft document, okay? I'll provide you the link in the description sections. So in this video, we learn about what all the cardinality we have to define a relationships between these two tables and the cross filter directions for single and both and where we can define the single filter directions and where we can define the both filter directions. I hope you like this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.